Welcome to Mechanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot a BMW that shows a warning on the iDrive uh, stating that drive try drive train malfunction. So, in order to figure out what's going on, you need a diagnostic scanner so we can read the fault codes from the DME. So, let's take a look at how you can do that. So, here we have the Mechanic full system scanner, and this scanner is able to read the fault codes on up. All makes and models but in this case we're gonna just focus on BMW and see the different makes in here let's go ahead and select BMW and then next we can manually select the the model basically you can go to 5 series and then you need to know which chassis but if you're not sure what you can do is you can do a smart VIN where the vehicle is going through the um, the VIN number of the vehicle and decode the correct model so instead of selecting the model just select smart VIN press ok and then it selected the correct year and everything else for the car and chassis and then what the scanner does it turns off the ignition for about 10 seconds then it'll turn it back on and then we'll be able to proceed to the next step the ignition is back on And now it's reading the data. Now go to diagnostics. Now you can do quick mode where you can run a full system scan. So that's a, um, a good idea. We'll come back to that in a minute. But if you're getting uh, drive time malfunction on the iDrive, go to control modules, go to drive. And then what you want to read is the codes from uh, DME. This is the engine control unit. And basically that's going to have the full codes that you're looking for. Here you can do tests, you can clear codes. After you fix the problem, you can do actuations, but in this case, we're just going to read the codes. And then you can see here, we can we have rough road detection, no wheel speed signal received, and then engine oil level too low. So in this case, these um, are store codes, so they're intermittent, they might come and go. So you can try clearing them. The problem is that if you go back and clear them without fixing the issue, those codes will end up coming back. So, um, but these codes are uh, very helpful, especially if you're getting the drive drivetrain malfunction warning. So let's go back though, because sometimes it helps. The, the BMWs have a lot of control units. Sometimes it can have up to like 40. So you can see here, under body there's 22, under chassis there's four, and then under drive is there's another five. So all, all these control units, instead of, um, Trying to read the codes from each one of them, go quick scan and let the vehicle run through all of them. And this is going to tell you, give you a report at the end. All the control units that have fault codes um, and what is going on. So it's important to try to connect the dots here because sometimes you might get drive time malfunction, let's say for low battery voltage, or you might get drive time malfunction. Uh, because uh, maybe the fuel high pressure fuel pump is not working so there's a lot of things that can go wrong so it's, it's important to just um, try to connect the dots now of course once this is done you can clear all the codes all at once even though we wouldn't recommend that um, but you the scanner will, will clear all the codes the problem is if you clear the codes without fixing the issue then you're not those codes are going to come back especially the codes are current or they're intermittent um, they, they come back uh, some come back right away some can take a week or two to come back so try to fix the issue and then uh, we're gonna let this finish give it a, a couple more minutes and take a quick look at the report of all the codes from all these control different control modules so the quick scanner uh, is done so this went through all the control module on this car and then it looks at what has codes and what does not so you can see here we got up to 31 control modules right here at the bottom here you have a couple of options you can save the report you can erase all the codes or you can click report so what this report does it tells you um, similar information but what's important here if you go to the bottom then you have all the codes and their descriptions and then we can look in just the codes and try to figure out what's going on here you know it's, is there an engine misfire or is there you know spark plugs, ignition coils, or, or trying to uh, connect the dots. So this is the first step. This will 
guide you try to figure out where that drivetrain malfunction is coming on instead of guessing um really without a diagnostic tool the only thing that you can really do is make sure that you have a fully charged battery because BMWs are very sensitive to low voltage so uh, low battery voltage um, can trigger that drive travel malfunction but if that is um, uh, if you have made sure that that is in good condition then the, the next step will be to, re to use a good scanner to read the codes uh, and ideally just run a quick uh, full system scan so you can just take a look at the whole picture. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.